So in the next um, case, we would have we have the same system, but instead of having a concentrated force acting along the beam, we have a distributed load acting on the beam. So our distributed load is denoted with QO. So we can then find a suitable equivalent loading. We need to account for equivalent loading at the nodes to account for the QO. So to create an equivalent amount of work done, it's done by the distributed load, we need to add equivalent concentrated forces and a couple moments at our nodes. So our equivalent concentrated forces are here, and our equivalent concentrated moments are here. We apply them at node I and node J. All right. So these are equivalent concentrated moments and forces. So in order to use these uh, to account for the distributed load, we need to alter our elemental um, our, ele our elemental um, case for a beam for beam loading to include these concentrated moments and forces. Um, so basically the only thing this your K stiffness, your K is the same for each element. Your displacements are the same. The only thing is you have to add for your global force, you have to add this term. All right. So as long as you add that term, the rest of the process of solving the problem is exactly the same as it is for um, the uh, if there's no distributed load within the system. So we're going to do an example problem to go through uh, how you can solve for the uh, you can how you can solve uh, a problem with the distrib with distributed loads using uh, finite elements uh, using beam beam elements. 